welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be showing you that how to fix no audio device installed or no audio device found on your windows 10 and windows 11. so right now you can see i am on my windows 11 and if i hover upon my sound icon at the right hand corner it says no audio device is installed and when i click on it i am not able to use the volume slider and everything has been muted because the audio is of course not working so let's move with the solution and the very first thing that you will have to do click on your windows search type services hit the enter key now here you have to look for the first service by the name windows audio so you have to scroll down to the w section and look for windows audio once you get it make a double click on it and here you have to make sure the startup type should be selected to automatic and the status should be running so if it's been stopped you have to click on start then click on apply click on ok now another service is optional if you find any service by the name realtek audio so look in the r section and if you find anything related to realtek you have to make sure that their service is properly running so once you are done you can now see the problem has been fixed on my end and I can easily use my audio service now. Everything has been fixed. So this is the quickest and the instant solution that you can apply. And in case if this doesn't work, the next what you'll have to do, right click on the windows icon. Then from the suggestion, click on settings. In this heading from the left hand menu option, you have to click on windows update. Then click on advanced options. And here below the additional option, you will be getting optional update. Click on it. Click on driver update. And if you find any kind of update related to audio real tech, then you will have to select it. And then you have to click on download and install. Even it's also recommended that you should go ahead and update your entire operating system. All right, so go ahead and update it. Once updated, restart the computer and check back again if the problem has been fixed. And if not, the next what you will have to do, again right click on the windows icon. From the suggestion, you have to click on device manager. In the device manager, on the very top, you will find audio input and output. Double click on it. And here you will find your speaker, real tech, or this can be by any other name. So you will have to look for the high definition audio. Right click on it make sure it's not been disabled if it's been disabled you will be getting an option of enable device then you have to click on update driver click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available kindly go ahead and update it once you are done scroll down and you will find sound video and game controller double click on it here also you will find high definition audio service so right click on it Make sure it's not been disabled. Then click on update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. Click on close. Now in case if you don't find the audio input and output or sound video and game controller option in the device manager, then what you can do from the top menu option, click on view. Click on show hidden devices. And again, you can check back. And still if the problem occur, then click on any of the adapter. Click on action, then click scan for hardware changes. And now you can check back if the adapter is showing up or not. Now, in case if you don't find the right audio device in the sound video and game controller, then what you can do here only you will find system devices. So double click on it. And here you have to look for anything related to audio. And if it's been showing in the yellow exclamation mark or disabled, then you will have to look for it right click on it then you have to click on uninstall device so once it will be uninstalled you will have to restart the computer in case if you don't find the in the system devices then you will have to look in the sound video game controller once you get it make a right click on it and choose uninstall device do the same from the audio input and output look for the high definition audio right click and choose uninstall device so once you have uninstalled from everywhere, you will have to finally restart the computer and then this all audio devices will be automatically reinstalled. So now you can check back if the problem has been fixed. 
now in case if all this method doesn't work the next what you will have to do close everything right click on the windows icon click on settings click on system from the left in menu option then click on sound now here scroll down a bit you will find more sound setting a new box will be popping up now in the playback section just make sure that the right speaker or the audio device has been set as default so what you can do you can make a right click on it and click on set as default option which you will be getting in case if this is not being set as default once you are done right click on the high definition audio click on properties from the top menu option click on levels and just make sure it's been selected to above 80 in case if it's been selected to zero then you will not be able to hear any kind of voice then from the top menu option only click on enhancement you can try checking this box and then see that if the problem get fixed now in case after applying all this solution too still if you face the problem then finally you will have to power flush your computer so this is one of the best and the final solution that you can apply so in case if you are using a pc what you can do you can shut down your computer now remove all the power cable all kind of external devices like usb keyboard mouse or any kind of other devices once everything has been unplugged you have to press and hold the power button for 25 seconds keep holding it then you can leave it now again reconnect all the power cable all kind of devices and again turn back the computer so now this time when you will check back your audio will be working absolutely perfect you can do the same with the laptop if you're using a laptop and if you have a removable battery then you can remove the battery remove the charging cable and all the other kind of external devices once done just press and hold on the power button for 25 seconds again reconnect everything turn on the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed so that's all guys for today these are the best and the effective solution that will be surely helping you to get rid of no audio device installed problem on your windows 10 and windows 11 and if this video helped you guys make sure you hit the like and let me know in the comment section which method work for you and i see you in the next video Bye bye